Now at 6, we are learning more about the animal abuse accusations against the Kosciuszko County Animal Control Officer. Good evening, I'm Heather Heron. And I'm Mark Mellinger. News Channel 15 first told you Tuesday about the complaints against Jerry Clays. Tonight, our Alyssa Ivinson's discovered exactly how those complaints will be reviewed. She is live in Studio 15 with what she's learned. Well, these are the accounts given to the Kosciuszko County Commissioners. They say Animal Control Officer Jerry Clays abuses the animals he catches. Now the commissioners are reviewing these claims. I believe the right thing would be to probably replace Jerry Clays. Ten years ago, Greg Kern's dogs got loose. Kosciuszko County Animal Control Officer Jerry Clays was called to get them. He said, I have your dogs out in the truck. Kern's wife and daughters, then three and six years old, went to go see. He opened the door. Both dogs were laying there with uh, bullet holes in them and their tongue hanging out and blood all over them, and my kids were just all upset. Kern is one of about a dozen people who filed complaints about Clays with the county commissioners, all saying Clays abuses animals. We do have people willing to come forward that say they have complained before and no one seems to know where these complaints have gone. Director of an area animal rescue facility, Londa Ewell, says some of the accounts are disturbing. Kicking the puppy to death in the lab, I thought that was pretty shocking. Tuesday, the commissioners got the complaints along with a request to fire Clays. I talked to Jerry today and we were reviewing all the different allegations and he should continue to do his job as he's doing it, and we'll deal with it at that time. The commissioners are reviewing the claims now, trying to find official reports about the incidents to compare accounts. The letters are telling us a part of what happened. We have found so far that there have been two sides to the ones that we can find the other side for. But Ewell says there are too many accounts of abuse to ignore. If Clace isn't fired, she says she won't stop fighting. We just go higher. We'll keep going higher. I mean, this time we're not going to stop the commissioners are having a meeting on July 6th to decide what to do. In Studio 15, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.